Okay, welcome back to Pokemon Violet for episode 12 of this general playthrough. Uh, we caught a couple of Pokemon between parts. Um, Espathra, who is the evolved form of Flittle. And we got Citadel, Snowball the Citadel. And we also got Graboid the Orthworm. Uh, this thing is... <laughs> It's just, it's like a long Voltorb. A long, dopey Voltorb. Um, we have the Team Star. Um, the Poison-type Team Star base coming up. I think we should be about the right level for it. That's why I have Dunsparce and Xena. Goatee and Xena, because they are... Goatee is like my only <laughs> leveled-up ground-type user. It has a uh, Drill Run, and Xena's our only psychic type other than Espathra, but I don't... Espathra's kind of overleveled, and also I don't really like it. Um, so we're gonna go with those two for this one. Also, I assume they evolve in the 30s, so I'm just gonna keep leveling them up. If they get to 40 and they haven't evolved, I'll assume it's some sort of, uh, special condition, and I'll just Google it, because <laughs> I want to use them at some point. Um, I... Thought I had marked the base, but I have not. Oh, I hit check details. That would be why. So destination. Okay, should be up here. Um. Oh. <laughs> okay. Could have just kept walking. This should be the toughest test for us yet for one of these. Although actually, no, the fire one was pretty tough. We were kind of underleveled for that too. Finn. Hey, Director Clavel. As I told you, the name's Clive. Please don't forget it. Now, let's pick up our conversation from where we left off before. As I mentioned, I joined Operation Starfall to resolve a sticky situation and to find out the reasons behind Team Star's odd behavior. Above all, I want to know why the students in Team Star have stopped coming to school. And just like Cassiopeia, I want the team to disband for good. Since joining Operation Starfall with you, I've already had some success in opening up a dialogue with Team Star. And I think I'm starting to understand things more clearly. But I don't have enough information just yet. That's why I want to speak with students from Team Star's other squads as well. If you intend to take on another base, know that you can count on me for backup. Till then, see you around, Finn. Okay, thanks, Clive. Um, I... I, I don't know where... Oh, I have a new... One of the teachers said something weird and suspicious to me while I was talking to all of them, but I can't remember which one it was. Um, I don't know if it's going to be one of the teachers who's the big boss. It feels like it's got to be a character we've met already. Um, but I can't remember which one it was. Someone said something suspicious, but now I've forgotten. Do me a favor and go home already, will ya? No, I want to see the boss of the Navi squad. Take me to Don Atticus, Don. <laughs> Like I said, kid, the boss told me not to let any outsiders pass these gates. That includes you. Is this tiny child trying to join Team Star? I don't care. I'm not leaving till you let me talk to Don Atticus. <laughs> Give me a break, you little doofus. Um, get a little closer. Oh, I thought that meant like quietly. Huh? Oh, great. Here comes another rando to ruin my day. I didn't think grunt work for Team Star newbies would be this much of a chore. Hold on, Mr. Grunt. I think this boy might be Finn. Wait, Finn? That kid who picked a fight with Team Star? Yep. I knew it! Oh boy. This ain't good. Everyone else in the base is still asleep since we were up at all last night playing video games. Leave him to me, Mr. Grunt. I'll buy some time for you to go wake the others up. What's wrong with you, kid? Yeah? And what's in it for you? Don Atticus will be in danger if no one's here to defend the base. I owe that man my life. He's my dear compadre. And when crisis calls, one has no choice but to rally to those dear to him, no matter the cost. Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, kid, but thanks for the big assist. Okay. We have to battle this random child. All right, you villain. If you're after Don Atticus, be prepared to face my wrath. Wait a second. What's wrong with you? Discretion is the better part of valor, as the saying goes. Wise choice. 
Oh no, wait, I do I do want to battle him. I'm just confused by everything that's going on. All right, you villain! <laughs> okay. Yeah! I was I was just confused by Oh, again, why does it put you so far away for these battles in particular? Yusuf, I do not like your chances. Oh, I love your chances of, of losing this battle badly. Also, what I've noticed from using Dunsparce is Dunsparce is a Pokemon whose height is way too big. <laughs> Dunsparce is, like, comically huge. Uh, I don't know why, but it's just gigantic. It's also very good, though. Oh, Toxic. Don't make me deal with Toxic for this whole thing. Uh, this... I Wait, what level is this thing? I didn't even see. I hope it's not... 30. Okay, yeah. 30 is fine. I think this should be a decent test. Okay. Because we're not using the best Pokemon either. Like, we're not using fully evolved Pokemon. Uh, not anymore. At least <laughs> they were. Uh, Hyper Drill, yeah. Hyper Drill. 100, 100. Um, our special attack is still really good. Um, I can't really get rid of Drill Run right now. Oh, I really love Ancient Power. Do I just get rid of Glare? Because poison, poison Tail is what we have for our... Um, get rid of Poison Tail? I gotta get rid of Glare. I can get it back if I need it. Okay. Ow. Go see what's hurt by its poisoning. Are we good? Uh, keep it in. Oh, Shrewdal. Okay. Um, so not fully... Why not fully evolved at 31? That is a weird choice. Uh, also, <laughs> Goatee's, um, terra typing, very useless here, because we have a poison type terra typing for Goatee, because it was like a special Dunsparce that I randomly found. Uh, so not ideal. Also, this theme goes so hard. <laughs> I love this theme. Uh, the way we've gone through this, kid... Makes me feel like this is not going to be too tough. But also, this is really just... It's really just the uh, leader. Like, the bit it, the bit before it is not exactly going to be tough. Okay. Uh, so we have to get three. I'm going to use... Oh! Okay! <laughs> 32! Okay, so I do not have to check. I'm so... Okay, I mean, we could see from the thing that it just looked like a big... Dunsparce. Da Dunsparce. <laughs> it's just a Dunsparce with an extra thing. <laughs> it looks so dumb, I love it. Is it also it's just gonna be huge. Oh, two segment form. So there's other sizes? It drives enemies out of its nest by sucking in enough air to fill its long, narrow lungs. Then releasing air, the air in an intense blast. It's 11 feet long. Yeah, I, it's just they made Dunsparce, like, comically huge. I, wa I don't think anyone was imagining that when they said they wanted a Dunsparce evolution. Don Atticus, I'm sorry I failed you. Hey, Clive. Finn, are you all right? I was standing watch when I heard a ruckus all of a sudden. I got worried that maybe something had happened to you over here. Ugh, no fair! You had backup this whole time? Is this boy one of the Academy's students? He doesn't look like he's from Team Star. You're right! I'm not a member of Team Star, but Don Atticus is my compadre! I have to see him no matter what! Well, clearly you have your reasons for being here. Finn, I'd like you to ask... What? I'd like to ask this boy some questions. <laughs> I thought it said, Finn, I'd like you to ask this boy some questions. And I was like, Clive, you can do it. You go ahead and get started on the base. Might I borrow you for a chat, my, uh, my man? Don't worry, I won't bite. Okay, that's so troubling. I don't like that. From this, like, 60-year-old pretending to be somebody else. Nice work dealing with the guard. That wasn't a guard, it was just a child. 
Within that base lies Team Star's poison crew, the Na'vi Squad. They love Avatar. Their boss Atticus designs the outfits for the team. They're just blue. <laughs> Full Na'vi costumes. You could say he has clever hands. The guy's also a bit of an eccentric, I remember. You can never tell what he's going to do next. So, since it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to our dead declaration of war, just take out as many of the squad's Pokemon as you can until Atticus shows his face. Ring the bell on the gates once you're all ready to go. Okay. Uh, time to wipe out the Navi. In the words of uh, Stephen Lang. Is that who played the guy in Avatar? I haven't seen it in 10 years, so that might be wrong. Okay. Let's go here. Got the antidote. The Dun Sparse. <laughs> now that I've seen it, I might not be using it. I don't love it. I want to take it out just to see what it looks like. Oh my god. It is comically gigantic. Why are you so ridiculous? It's terrifying. Okay. Uh, let's go. Um, sorry, do I have the first three right? I wanted to use um, Duck Spoon as well. I wanted to use Ponpy just because I haven't used it at all, and it's adorable. Uh, it deserves to be used. It's very adorable. Uh, so we'll go with that, sure. Uh, yes. I don't know, because obviously the Dun Sparse is not a ground type, it just has one ground type move. And. Uh, I don't think Xena has any great... I think Psybeam is our best. Seems the folks behind Operation Star Fool are making a move against our base. You know what that means, gang. Time for us to shine bright and avenge our teammates. And hey, little intruder, just so you know, if you've got the skills to defeat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss might deem you worthy to meet in person. Heh, <laughs> break a leg. I mean, I really just feel like I will. Uh, God, you are terrifying. Okay, come back, first of all. The Dunsparce, come back. Why are you not coming back? Okay, the Dunsparce won't come back, so that's good. Uh, go, go after that thing. You two. Okay, where are you going? I pointed... Okay. <laughs> Bounty is just running around barking. I appreciate the support. Go after that thing. Oh, Bounty is not ready for this. Help Bounty, help Bounty. Okay. We maybe weren't super ready for this. Uh, I mean, I have time to, like... Did, did he say we can go and heal with him? I think he did in the first one. Hello. Yep. Does that take time off? Nope. Okay. I just don't want to lose Bumpy. Uh, some Grimer. Did it sparse? You got this. Uh, I, I still don't understand how... What is happening? Why are you not attacking? How did you get out? I... <laughs> I still don't really understand this. Like, I don't get how to switch between Pokemon. I don't get why sometimes they just come out by themselves. There's a Clod Sire. Uh, I kind of have to heal again. Also, the game is, like, dying. I feel like it's because my laptop is overheating. Uh, give me a second. Okay, I just spent a few minutes cooling down my laptop to see. I don't... I. The game just runs better. Maybe it just doesn't like me. Maybe that's just the game being super broken and me reading into it wrongly. Because it feels fine when I run in this direction. And this direction. But then as soon as I run this way, the game feels broken. So I think that I was just reading into something and the game is just broken. Uh, also... This section is not so hard, so I could just spend, like, four minutes cooling down my laptop, and we're good. Uh, okay. It'd be embarrassing if I don't complete this now. Yeah, Pumpy was not the one to bring here. I don't- I didn't mean to send you that way. Can you come back? Because yeah, Pumpy died now. Uh, I mean, it's fine. I don't actually need it. Can you come back? Okay, let's just okay, let's just stay going in this direction, or stay facing this direction at least. You got that? Is that not Xena? Okay. No, I don't. 
if I'm looking at something but facing in a different direction, I feel like you should figure out that I want you to attack this thing. I really feel like this is maybe... Oh my god, there's Pokemon over there though. I'm trying to get to those Pokemon. So it is just... Is it just the game being super broken? Zena, do you want to do that? Okay. Do I have to heal something? No, I think we're fine. Um, that is... Worrying. He's way above our level! We gotta get the boss! Okay, what is Atticus gonna have? He's just gonna have Grafii, right? We haven't seen Grafii yet, like, properly. Uh, it just makes sense. That's fine. I feel like we should be okay here. Okay. Hey, Atticus. What you got? Pray forgive my sudden entry. Tis I, Atticus. You're that scoundrel Finn, I take it. You have some nerve bearing your fangs at Team Star. Come then, villainous wretch. A plunge into grim poison shall be your well-deserved fate. On guard! Yeah, we confirmed um, a few episodes ago that Atticus is, in fact, the worst. Uh, which, he doesn't deserve Grafia. Maybe he's going to have Clod Sire. What do you got? We have... Okay. Uh, fair enough. Skuntank it is. Naught but punishment awaits thee, wretch. A plague on your house. <laughs> He's so annoying. Okay. You got a tank that I should have... Do you know what I should do? I should terrestrialize. Because I'm not ground anyway. But am I immune to poison if I'm a poison type? I feel like I should just terrestrialize to be poison. Uh, because it doesn't affect my move, but it massively hurts them. I probably should have done that first turn. Oops. Okay. You look good, to done sparse. Because now that does nothing. Now this doesn't change. Bye bye, Skun Tank. I don't. I I don't know what what level was. I wasn't paying attention to the Skun Tank's level. Were we over leveled for this? Uh, room, of course. Um, I think this one was one level under on the last two. Oh! That's an actual thing. Has it always been a thing? No, this time it's actually the thing. So that's what Rave of Room looks like. Because this time we're actually battling it. Rather than battling the truck. Oh, okay, it looks like the front bit of the truck. Okay. What did it just hit on me? Oh my god! What type is that? Oh, was it... Was it part poison? Was it steel poison? Oh god, wait, okay. Uh, I'm clearly missing stuff here, because... I don't know how many team members Atticus has? Oh, 32. Oh, you have four Pokemon, okay. That's not great. Can you live this? You resist. Good work, okay. Because we need to get a hit off at least once here. Because uh, we only really have Xena after this. So, Dunsparce is, like, exceptionally slow. If it's slower than Muck? Uh, okay. Yeah, the Rave of Room... I think Rave of Room is Poison Steel. Because I, I think Varum is Poison Steel anyway. Um. Yeah, I think I just go Psybeam. Okay. This battle is not... Easy. I feel like I got lucky with the evolution beforehand. There we go. Okay. What's lost? Grafii? Another Rave of Room. Oh, that's bad. Oh, no. This time it's the truck. Okay. That's a good thing then. Right? Because the previous two trucks have just been pure the typing like the first one was pure fire and the second one was pure dark so i'm assuming this one is just going to be pure poison noxious torque ow so can we at least get one hit off like a decent one because we probably need it 
Um, did I have a steel? I had Varum, I guess. I could have brought Varum. Um, is po poisons is poison super effective on fairy? <laughs> Why did I? I do, do you know what part of it is? Because I always look at fairy and think it's psychic, and I'm. I just don't know why I brought a fairy type here. Or a grass type, honestly. Some questionable decisions were made. Um. Alright, I guess I just have to take the hit here. Okay. Is this upping speed? I, I didn't actually pay attention. Because the... Okay, no. Whatever the fire one was doing was upping speed. Are you going to get anything in here? You do baby doll eyes. Is that where... Yeah, I guess so. We may as well just go baby doll eyes and take a death. It's so cute, though. Okay. This is always priority, right? Okay. I, I, I think that's, like, all we can do here. Get the attack drop. And then take the death. Okay. You tanked that. Uh... Flinch? No, you're slower. It's no good. I should just go on baby doll. Why did I not just go baby doll eyes again? That was really dumb. Okay, is it phys- I assume it's physical. We got some damage. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Why did I not just go baby doll eyes? Now I've poisoned whoever comes out next. <laughs> I've poisoned the entire rest of the team. Okay. I mean, at least we got a bunch of attack drops. I, if only... Oh, God. If I'd just gone for it four times, it would have been so much better. Okay. Oh, it looks so cute there. Um, I'm not loving my chances here. So you just have Bite. You do have Breaking Swipe, which is also going to help. And you have Shed Skin. Okay, let's start with BC, because BC has Shed Skin and Breaking Swipe, so we can get the attack down to the bottom stage and hopefully shed the poison. Is that going to drop? It's going to drop more, is it? Okay, it's not too bad. Shed Skin, I need you to kick in reasonably quickly. Uh, we also still have the Shell Bell. Okay. Well, you know what? We just have to live with that. Come on, Shedskin. Ow. Shedskin, you need to... You need to wake up. Okay, we can take a few of these. But we really only have a couple of turns left if Shedskin doesn't kick in. Okay. I think that's down five. Shedskin... There we go, okay. Uh, I think we get a f three more turns of this now. Okay, 32. Oh, I don't even know what to do. We're not out speeding, so there's no point in going for bite. Um, how much is it doing now? I think we're bottomed out on attack. Okay, we can get, because we can heal up a bit with each breaking swipe. This might be enough. BC might do enough for us here. Uh, only 12 and we heal up. Okay, okay. Okay. And then after this one, we can quick attack to get one last hit in. I mean, this is... This is just how good BC is. Oh no, come on! That just cost us two hits. That might be the crit that ends it. Because I don't know how much these two can do. I mean, you might not get one-shotted. We'll see. You're going to get badly poisoned, right? Is that badly poisoned? Because it's two layers? Okay. So you really just have to bite. 
and try and get some good damage off. You'll have two attacks, maybe. Maybe just one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you'll get two. Oof. That's so unlucky. It all comes down to how much Surf is going to do here. And if... We do actually have good HP. Oh, the berry. Is the berry going to be enough? Oh, it will. I actually don't know. How, how much is the poison doing right now? No, we, okay. We get one more hit. Maybe the berry will be the difference. Crit? Oh, come on. Okay. I wish you had quick attack. Okay. Um, is that enough? This is going to be really close, I think. Come on, Echo. You got this. Surf is powerful. It's stab. It's normally effective. We have good HP. The attack, the attack stat is way down. How much is this doing? Oh, we, we've got this, right? More than half. Okay, I think we're good. As long as it doesn't have another move that's special that it hasn't been using. God, BC absolutely carried this. Okay, that was lucky because that is special. Whew. Okay. I did not think we were going to win that for a minute there. Oh, it's not over. Oh, God. Okay, stop celebrating. No way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know Smog's weak, but that was still terrifying. Okay. I was celebrating a bit too early. I thought <laughs> I thought that second surf did it. Down goes Atticus. That was a good battle. That was a really good battle. Uh, that crit against BC really came at the perfect time for him. Oof. Forgive me, my friends. About a year and a half ago. Forgive me. It took a goodly time to procure the required materials. Whoa, sick! Those boots are insane! These... Ah, yes. The f move flame charge was my muse for those particular pieces. This outfit is everything I imagined it would be. Thank you so much! I merely wish to create a costume worthy of the great infernal Eerie. If it aligns with your vision, then I am content. Seems our outfit upgrades are all wrapped up then. Thanks a ton, Atticus. With you two looking like absolute beasts, anyone who crosses us will be sweating bullets. You're so good at these sorts of crafty things, Atticus. Those people bullying you because you geek out over old-fashioned stuff are out of their minds. The way of the ninja is rough and fraught with thorns. I neither expect nor desire sympathy from the unrefined rabble. Ooh, someone's getting fired up. Watch out, world. Our Atticus has fighting words. Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Atticus. I think you're really cool. All right, gang, let's move on to the next step. It's time to put our backs into the, our battle training so we're all prepared, prepped <laughs> for Operation Star. We gotta be stronger than everyone else in the team. That's what being a boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, I will devote myself, heart and soul, to honing my battle skills. Good for you, Atticus. For the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. And so, this badge is mine to keep no more. I entrust it to thy care. <laughs> I like that they're willing to pose with us as well. I mean, Mela just hit me, but that's close. <laughs> I thought it was a contraception. Take this contraption too. It contains a technique that allows one to cover their foes in gunk. I'm really glad it didn't say contraception. We are gunk shot. Uh, Finn is thy name, is it not? You have utterly bested me, but thy victory stirred no bitterness within me. Such was its brilliance. It was a really good battle. Don Atticus! M my compadre! It seems this little fella has been... <laughs> What's Clive's? There's too many voices. No, I've, I've completely lost it. It seems this fella has been... <laughs> the fella thing is throwing me. 
It seems this little fellow has been dying to speak with you face to face. Don Atticus, please hear what I have to say. I only need a moment. Whatever brought you all the way here? I came to help you. If you don't start getting going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? When the other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad, you and the rest of Team Star saved us. Thanks to that operation you carried out, we were able to go to school again. If you got expelled for being the good guys, that'd be the worst thing ever. Oh. Hmm. Team Star are good guys? Haven't you heard anything from the big boss? Nay, we've not heard a whisper since that fateful day. Without the big boss, Team Star could not carry on. And without the team, the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. We've no choice but to defend our bases till the big boss returns to us. You evidently trust this big boss of yours a great deal. Who exactly are they? In truth, not one of us has met them in the flesh. By their own word, they are a recluse. Is it Penny? Is Penny the big boss as well? It's Penny, right? <laughs> As with the rest of us, it would seem bullying was to blame. That's awful! Though their name and face be unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious compadre. No comrade, it's that comrade. I'm getting confused by the other kid. Our only choice is to maintain our vigils from the bases awaiting the day of their return. So that's why you don't go to school. But, but still, don't ever think that Team Star is all you have, Don Atticus. You've got a lifelong compadre in me, and don't you forget it. My compadre, I owe you a great debt. It seems we're one step closer to the truth behind Team Star's truancy, and the bullying at the academy, but more importantly, I can't believe I had no idea about these issues the students are struggling with. Yeah, Clive, you really dropped the ball. They have friendships they hold dear, and reasons for the acting, no, for acting as they do. I just couldn't see it. It's shameful how oblivious I've been. I agree. Ha! I believed Team Star to be the one and only treasure in my life. Methinks I may have been mistaken. <laughs> I love everything he says. He's the, he's truly the worst. And also my third favorite character. Um, I, I took a long time to do that. That was a long battle. Uh, this is like almost a full episode. These, these take pretty long, the Team Star bases. If the battle is tough, like that one, they do take a while. Finn, it's me! Atticus's Star Badge is now yours, then! Are you... are you the big boss? I see. Now that its boss has been taken down, the Navi Squad's days are numbered. Now Atticus, too. Sorry, I've got a lot on my mind right now. So, Operation Starfall. You've taken down all but two bases, so it's fair to say it's going well. This seems like a good time to let you know what we're ultimately aiming to achieve. Our final goal is to defeat the mastermind that first recruited the five squad bosses and created Team Star. The one they call the Big Boss. It is? I'm confused by this. Is it not you? Who knows? They control the five squad bosses from the shadows. That's all anyone can say. If we defeat this person and get them to declare the team disbanded, that'll be it for Team Star. Since the Big Boss never set up their own base and keeps their identity hidden, I take it they're not one for the spotlight. But once all the squad bosses are out of action, the Big Boss will finally have to take the stage. Now, about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Thank you. 7,000? Nice. Have your Pokémon learned strong moves so that they can continue to be of use to the operation? My supply unit rep should be with you soon. Cool. Hey there, Finn. That, uh, sounded like a pretty serious phone call. Agias? Uh, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> I, I, I still think I prefer, I mean, I've only, like, briefly seen pictures of Coridon, but I still think I prefer Coridon, but I do really like Maridon as well. Okay, did we? Uh, why? Is this just going like the same as last time? Is it's gonna be? Okay, I that's such a weirdly like that's like ten seconds <laughs> to just show. Could you not have just animated? I don't know. Like 
Maridon lying down. So, that mastermind you were talking about, Cassiopeia, uh, Cassiopeia has mentioned them to me too. Team Star's founder, the person who's caused all kinds of misery at the Academy. If we don't take them down, I'll lose what I treasure most in the world. Lose your treasure? Uh, no, I, I just... Um, that's right, you need your reward. Here, take it before I forget. Let's Pokemon Returns. All right, well, I'll be off then. You good? Oh, and Finn, don't lose to those guys. Well, I'm very confused. I thought it was Penny, and now I don't think it's Penny. Also, running in this direction... Oh, it's no, it's gone back to normal now. Let me grab this. I think we're, like, pretty much at a full episode's length there. Um, oh, Toxic Spikes. Uh, I will grab this as well. Oh, that's a Pokemon. Oh, it's Fungus. <laughs> that was really good. It completely tricked me. Was it Shining? That's really good. Okay. Um, uh, should I just get it? Because I need it for my Pokedex. I probably should. Uh, let me grab this. Let me just see what's in here. <laughs> I've been making a lot of use of the jump thing by just jumping everywhere. Uh, grab that. I'm, there's so many items in this game that I feel like I get distracted really easily. Oh, Phantom Force. Uh, grab that. And hello. Who do we have? We have Shroomish. No, thank you. Okay. So is there anything in here after we, like, defeat it that I want to be looking for? There's still Team Star members hanging around. Uh, but nothing super important. Okay. So next up, we will be heading to... Uh, is... Medal okay, so this is Medali. So this is where we're going next. Um, where the normal type gym leader is. Uh, this is the gym leader that I was going to challenge first. Uh, so that would have been bad. <laughs> yeah, I would have lost really badly. Um, oh, also, I haven't done this in a while. I'm up to 182 Pokemon. Get a shiny stone. Get three medium experience candies. Ten dive balls? Ten dive balls. Uh, ten stardust. Okay. Yeah, I, I really like this. I like the uh, rewards building up as you go. Uh, we've also just... Yeah, we're killing it. There's loads of Pokemon that I need to evolve. But once I've done all of those, I feel like there's not that many left. Um, the end is like here. So three. So there's about 400, probably 400 exactly. Um, this is the Pokemon I talked about last episode. Of the Pokemon that I saw. I saw it... Oh, okay. Dragon Water. Stretchy form. So I saw this... It was red. But then I also saw this version that's yellow. Um, so there's that. Is, was this Ghost? Psychic, okay. It looks more Ghost than Psychic. Also, I kind of hate it. I hate... I hate how triangular it is. It... There, that picture looks good. I'm fine with that picture, but then actually seeing it like this, it looks really weird to me. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I got a Cub Chew as well. Um, anything else we need to look at? Not really. Oh, I caught Grievard, finally. Considering I've had Houndstone for ages, it's probably good to get this thing. Uh, this friendly Pokemon doesn't like being alone. Pay it even the slightest bit of attention and it will follow you forever. That is so adorable. A lovingly moored Pokemon was reborn as Houndstone. It doesn't like anyone touching the protuber protuberance. Uh, pr protuberance? Is that a word? I thought it was protuberance. Protuberance. Uh, we're finishing this episode on me googling if that's a word or if they've got that wrong. Because I thought the word was protuberance. Protuberance. I mean, I assume they haven't got it wrong. That would be weird. Yeah, I've been saying that word wrong my entire life. Because something protrudes. So, I, th I like I thought that's what that was named from, is from protruding. But apparently not. It's a protuberance. Okay, fair enough. Uh, you know, learn something new every day. 
That'll do it for this episode where I accomplished very little, but we did do a Team Star Base. We are now at, if I can zoom out all the way, 4 of 8 for the gyms, 3 of 5 for Starfall Street, 3 of 5 for the Path of Legends. Uh, we're doing pretty well. We're a bit over halfway, but a bit over halfway with the bit before the Elite Four, and also the end bit for each of them, so we're probably not halfway. Because <laughs> they're all going to have bits afterwards, so... We're probably like 35 to 40% done, which is not very much now that I say it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.